also Bolinas, we lovingly refer to you as GM powertrain god. There you, go. you make horsepower, you make fuel economy, you make reliability. Right next to you here, one of your team's finer creations, this part of the Chevy Camaro ZL1 Cup car and Garage 56 entry. Who better to tell us uh, what it is? Why don't you give us some of the tech specs, and then we'll get into how you made this into an endurance motor, Russ. Yeah, what's well, really exciting, so what we started with is the base Chevrolet NASCAR Cup engine, 358 inch, small block Chevy based. We call it the R07. Mm. It's a two valve pushrod engine, um, an iron block, aluminum heads. And um, you know, as you know, it's had great success in NASCAR and it was a perfect package to power the Camaro here at Le Mans. Tell me about taking this motor that's meant to do some pretty hardcore cup races, obviously, but this is seemingly half a calendar of cup races stacked into one weekend. Tell us about the, uh, the R&D process of turning this into a 24 plus hour motor. One of the great opportunities is partnering with ECR and HCD, you know, so Earnhardt Children's Racing Engines and then HCD, the development wing of Hendrick and Childress, you know, with their knowledge from DPI and then everything that General Motors has done, both with Corvette and now with the Cadillac LMDH, we were really to able to take the best of the R07 NASCAR engine and then kind of add those specific things needed to be able to have the endurance and drivability that's needed here to be competitive in Le Mans. So what do you do from a, a technical aspect, Russ? Are you slowing down revs? Are you changing internal components to get the life that you need? What are some of the, the physical things you're, you're doing different? Yeah, I mean, the greatest thing is that the, really the core baseline of the engine, the long block, didn't really have to change a whole lot. Um, in a cup engine, you run a tapered restrictor that, hand, that takes the power down. We were able to kind of take some of that restriction away to be able to easily get the extra power and then bring the maximum RPM down a little bit just to help extend the life. If you look at how many cycles you have to run to do, say, 30 hours, which is the type of durability that we're looking for, you know, you can basically bring the RPM down, which then takes that load off the valve train, which is probably one of the things that is the you know, the, the hardest part of making a cup engine live. Let's close on this, Russ. So long before this beautiful vehicle showed up here in France, it has been pounding around tracks in America. I, I live out on the West Coast, but I've been here in dyno cells in, in Michigan glowing for months and months. Tell folks about the testing and uh, whether, again, it's on track or in your, your dyno cells. Tell folks about that effort because that's also a crazy endeavor. Yeah, one of the things that's great is between ECR, both of us have transient dynos. So we did a lot of the initial development and validation work at ECR on their transient dyno, where we will actually take track playback and then repeat the entire life, 30 hours of running at Le Mans. All automated. We're, we're able to cycle coolant temperatures and inlitter temperatures to make sure it sees the whole range. And then we also ran a full in Michigan at our powertrain facility, the GM Racing facility in Michigan. We have a full driveline dyno. <laughs> so we were able to run engine, transaxle, axles, the whole entire package where we redid that whole thing for 30 hours. But this time we were able to shift and do everything so that you had the closest representation of what the engine and powertrain will see here in Lamar at the racetrack. I'm overstating the obvious, but whether it's IMSA, whether it's Cup, whether it's IndyCar, drag racing, uh, the bow tie, GM, y'all show up ready, ready to fight. And this looks exactly like another amazing effort to come here and get the business done for the good old red, white, and blue. Amen. Thank you, brother.